Get your hands up. Good. Now get up off the ground. I can't with my hands in here. Just get off the ground. Now, where's the tonic? The tonic. Oh, come on. The tonic has paid you so handsomely to deliver some. I have no idea what you're talking about. Look, we can do this the easy way. Or I can just shoot you right now. I'm authorized by the law to do that, you know. So you're saying, it's either get shot or go to jail. That's the idea. That's a bad idea. Oh, I'm in a, a big jail. There you go. That's a good idea. You're welcome, Sheriff. Hi. However, Arthur, you still have not captured Ezekiel Rook yet. Well, Sheriff. Neither of you, James. Yes, sir. But we're working on it. Not fast enough, I'm afraid. What exactly do you mean, sir? I mean, my mother bought a bottle of medicine the other day. Three hours later, she realized half the bottle was gone, and so was all her jewelry. I see. My apologies. Yes, well, you see, this case has become a bit more personal to me. Do you suggest? Well, I put a lot of thought into it. I came up with a conclusion. What exactly was that? You need another partner. No. Uh, yes, you do. One who knows what they're doing. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Right, stop it. You need another partner. Who do you have in mind? I think I know just the person. Three to one, he doesn't make it. Victor, I'll personally pay you five to one if I miss this shot. I got a hundred riding on you missing this shot, and I don't want to lose it. A hundred? Really? And I don't want to lose it. Well... What did I do very much anyway, Victor? <coughs> Excuse me! We're looking for a man named Jedediah Hot. Is he here? Yep, that's me. I'm James Wagman, this is Art McMillan. Hello, boys. We're from the local government, and we heard that you... The, uh, what? Well, that you had some run-ins with the lot of war. That was a long time ago. And I didn't just run into it. I walked up to it right on purpose. Well, no. That's not what James meant. He meant that you had experience in questionable activity. Look, boys, if we're going to talk, let's not do it here. Okay, now what did you want? Our sheriff told us we need another partner to help us catch somebody. What gangs do you belong to? He don't. You don't want? He don't belong to a gang. He's a traveling salesman. Peddler? I know their miracle cures don't work, but what do you want with them? Well, you see... This ain't the place, James. Let's go. Ooh, a matter of hush hush. All right, boys. His name is Ezekiel Rook. He's been a traveling salesman for a long time. Recently, he's introduced us to a kind of tonic. It's supposed to cure whatever ails whatever. you. And I suppose it don't do that. Correct. Heck, that ain't nothing new. That's not the problem. It's actually a sedative. Said a said a what? Fuck out, James. Ah, oh, now you're making sense. Okay, carry on. <laughs> Anyways, it's a sedative that puts people out for two hours. In which time, Rook sends out his outlaws to collect the victim's valuables. When the victim wakes up, he doesn't remember a thing. And well, we haven't been able to catch him. And so your sheriff thinks I can help? Yes, that's what he was hoping. Alright. What's your name? James. Alright, Jimmy, let me tell you something. I was an outlaw for seven years. I robbed the Wells Fargo stage more than once. Robbed more than a handful of banks. And I escaped from two hangings completely unarmed. And I'm the fastest shot in the West. But a Pinkerton is one thing I ain't. It'd be handsomely paid. I can win more money every time I walk into a saloon than you boys would ever pay me. Yes, but do shot glasses ever shoot back? What do you mean? 
When's the last time you had to shoot yourself out of a mob? Okay, I'm listening. Doesn't Watson from Ba to Ba ever get boring? It might. Keep talking. You offer me some real excitement? More than you'll ever get in your life. Heck, I might even kill you. Oh, I'm liking the sound of this more and more. So, you in? Just so long as I get to shoot. Oh, believe me, you'll get to shoot. Boys, you got yourself a gunman. Sir, I have a moment to be tired. Sure. This is the only tonic scientifically proven to do away with any ailment you are burdened with. Do you suffer from headaches, stomach aches, bad temper, or all of the above? This is your cure. Does it really work? As surely as George Washington was the first president. I'll take it. Very wise decision, sir. Now you go home and take three or four good swallows of that and tell me if you want instantly cured. Yes, sir. Three or four good swallows should do it. Now, I assume that your sheriff put me in charge because he wanted somebody with the correct know-how to be directing you to. Now, listen here. Am I correct, Ah? I'll take that as a yes. Now, as we're attempting to get after Rook fast, I assume you have horses for us. We would, only... What's that, Jim? I didn't quite hear the last bit. We only have two horses, and one of them got shot while we were chasing one of Rook's thugs. Ah, Jim lost his horse, eh? Calling me that. As you wish, Jim, my boy. My name is James, and that's what you're gonna call me. Now listen here, Mr. Jim. I would distinctly recall us agreeing that I was in charge here. You got that right, James. And if I'm in charge, that means that you should not be giving me orders. Okay, okay, Jedediah. See, now you're facing a dilemma because you can't make an insult out of a name like Jedediah. Sure, I could. Nope. Jetty ready. Now that's just plain stupid, Jimbo. So where's the horse? I don't know. This is where we tied it up. It must have choked under the rope or something. Son of a gun! That darn harsh must have choked through the rope again! Hang on a second, Art. These edges are too clean. Some fella cut through this thing with a knife. How do you know that? I've hacked through enough picking lines in my day to know what it looks like. Well, at least I left before we got here. I do so wish you hadn't just said that, Jim. Shut up, or I'll blow your damn face head off. Eh, go ahead. I've had worse. Really? Like what? Go on. Busy at the moment. 